Can I loot his cart? Damn. Mm -hmm. All right, green quartz. This is some decent loot at the very least. Ow, my mouth. Oh, pony. A pair of scared ponies stand be stands before you. They don't run away, but they snort loudly and neigh as you approach. These are most likely the, sp the spare pair of ponies the gnome expedition used to pull their cart. When the kobolds attacked, they weren't tied to the cart, so they just pulled themselves free and fled into the forest. No but you're irrelevant now, ponies. The barony managed to persevere and enjoys peace once again. Wait, what? Huh, awesome! Jubilost is now my treasurer. Projects. Events. Okay, ends in 17 days. New merchants have arrived in the keepital. Okay. What? Oh, shit. Oh, my lord, is that a troll? That is a troll. Uh... Uh, you do that, please. Um, shit. No. What does that do? Shield. Um, no. Okay. He didn't just die, did he? No, okay, he's not dead. What are you doing, Tristan? Tristian. You are not that one character from Yu-Gi-Oh. You are not Tristan. Oh, he's dead. <gasps> oh, that's an even bigger one! Oh, okay, good. Octavia, what are you doing? Oh no, Amiri, why? This is for you. Demoralize them. This won't you survive. How you always survive. Uh, how about acid? How about that? You missed! Holy shit. That was interesting. Oh god, another one. Um... 
Okay, so... Wait, can I not? Why can't I? Shit! Oh, this isn't good. God damn it! You stupid asshole! Why must you suck? Oh, come on, Tristan. Please. Yes! Okay, good. Thorkin is now the tank. Good god. You took so much damage. I know that I'm healing the troll right now, by the way. I'm just really trying to get Reg up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever. Hit him with the acid. What? The, did it fizzle? What is... What happened to him? Why did he just... Give up? An elderly half-elf stands before you. His sun bleached his sun bleached hair reveal him as a seasoned traveler, and the confidence with which he holds his bow reveals him to be a seasoned warrior. And his cart full of various items, it seems a traitor as well. Damned trolls almost died from the stink alone! The half elf wipes uh, the sweat from his brow. They almost had me. Since when a troll is not afraid of fire? Good thing I had a few flasks of acid among my goods. Thank you for your timely rescue, friends. Despite his confident gaze, his voice trembles slightly. A few moments more and I would have... He frowns. Whoever rules this land gives little care to its safety. Formerly safe roads are given over to trolls and not a guard to be seen. But where are my manners? I am Dalton from Mivon, a merchant by trade. Who are you? I'm the baron of these lands. Your words are fair. I'll do what I can to make the roads safer. Dalton looks shocked. Oh, I beg your forgiveness, your grace. Dalton bows politely. But these trolls, they're a threat to everyone. Bah! What does he th think we're doing here? Having a tea party? Grumbles Regengar, playing with his weapon. They've attacked several villages, destroyed bridges, and are scaring away trade caravans. Worse than bandits, by far. If your grace is willing to resolve the matter, I know a mage living nearby. I visit him from time to time to sell him reagents for his spells. He's an expert on trolls, might know why they've suddenly become bolder and fireproof. Hey, wait, where do you think you're going? We saved you, didn't we? So we deserve a reward. Get out your coin purse. Again, Reg, please don't. Just leave him be. Octavia's right. Octavia's right, Reg. Leave him be. Heh heh, you scared merchant? I'm just kidding, pay no attention to me. But you'd better listen to what our chief here says. I can see you're an experienced trader. Would you consider operating exclusively in my barony? I... Dalton frowns. Don't get me wrong, your grace, but I've family in Bravoy, so my road must always take me there, no matter how dangerous the journey. The roads are unsafe. I would suggest you go no further than the capital and wait until the roads can be garrisoned properly. There's still plenty of trade to be had elsewhere in the region. Dalton frowns. If things are that bad, well then perhaps I shall conduct my business here for a time. Very well. Tell me more about this mage. Dalton scratches his head. Bartholomew is his name. He's not bad for a human. Always so polite, so respectful. But there is something odd about him. He lives alone in the middle of the woods, his house surrounded by traps with a single safe road leading to it. No bandits nor trolls scare him. And the way he looks at you, it's like he's examining you. Like he's considering to crack you open and see what's inside. The chills! Dalton shivers. Any other dangers on the road? Trolls aren't enough, huh? <laughs> uh, d actually, I heard a disturbing rumor. It's said a hodag has made a lair in a cave south of here. Whether true or not, traders are taking no chances, taking forest routes instead. Let me mark the cave on your map. Amir grins. I've never- Amiri grins. I've never fought a hodag. Yet. You're from Mivon, you say? What is their view on this new barony? Long ago, Mivon was founded by the Sword Lords. 
who refused to bow before their new ruler and fled Brevoy. While not Brevens anymore, our people and the people here have a lot in common, as I've heard the barony here was founded by people from Restov. We look upon them as distant cousins, I suppose. Welcome cousins, that is, not family you'd rather forget. Good fortune to you and safe travels. Hold a moment, I didn't have a chance to reward you for your help. Fortunes are best shared, after all. Safe travels! Awesome. Merchant's Guard? Huh. This is my path. Okay, what else can I find here? That's a broken tree. Ha-ha! 